everybody. I'm going to read you chapter 10 of Adventures of Robin Hood. Let's see what happens at the wedding. But next morning, Robin and the merry men sprang out of bed at first light. They had to find the curtain flyer of the of fountains. Abby quickly, if they hoped to stop Ellen's wedding. The scarlet knew that the way to the Abbey. The way to the Abbey? Yes. Okay. A-B-B-E-Y. The Abbey. That's where the, the priest is. The friar. So, so what... So he lead the others. But Pat took them through woods. They had never that they had never traveled. Just afternoon they reached a broad, fast flowing river a bit. Well we will Come to a shadow place the river. I can't see you, okay. Well said Will said we can wait across there. Robin shook his head. I think I should go the rest of the way home alone. If they if I have any trouble I will blow my bugle three times. About ten minutes after leaving his, his, his men, Robin suddenly stopped and listened for a moment. That's strange. It seems I had, I am heard two voices, yet that sounds almost the same. What is going on, he wondered. Peering through trees, Robin saw a fat friar sitting on the river bank. He was a jolly looking fellow with a thick neck and bright red cheeks. Between his legs sat a big meat pie. In one hand he Ryan, had, you're on camera. Oop. He held a bottle of I'll pause. Father hand clutched a crust of pie. Oh, good fellow, the friar said. You are the best friend I could ever have. Then a different voice responded. Why, thank you, brother. I do apprentice your kindness. The friar replied in the first voice. Why, thank you, brother. I must try this pie. Robin held his laughter. When the friar finished his meal, he rubbed hands together, then said, Good friend, I have enjoyed this meal. I would like to... It's so very much if you would so sing a bit for me. The second voice said, I would love to, but I won't sing alone. Will you join me, the friar on and began to sing in a strong, deep voice. <laughs> Robin chuckled quietly. He knew the tune so he began to sing along. Storo the, the friar struggled clumsily to his feet. He drew his broad sword from its scabbard and cried out, Show yourself! I'll crave you like a Sunday roast beef. Robin emerged from his hiding place. Oh, good brother, put your sword away. Haven't we 
shared a song. Why should we fight? I'll tell you, good friend. The song has left and porch. Have you have you any drink to wash my throat? The fire lord his sword blood please you seem to be very comfortable 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 boarding in where you are not invited but I am a Kristen that and cannot refuse drink to a thirsty man he held out the bottle. Robin grabbed it, threw his head back, and drank until the bottle was empty. <laughs> the friar snatched the bottle back, peered inside. He turned the bottle upside down and shook it. But nothing came out. Then he pursed his lips and glared. Ignore the look. Robin asked, do you know of a certain one who goes by the name of Sutter Friar of the Fountains Abbey? Yeah, a bit, replied the friar. Well then, good father or friar, or whatever you are, Robin said Robin, I would like to know what whatever he will be found on his side of the river or whatever i say you to set foot in on that side of the river and find out for yourself. <laughs> Step the friar well, good friar. As you can see, my clothes are a fine quality. 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 Robin explained, I don't want to get them wet. You have real strong so shoulders. Would you mind carrying me across the fire turn as red as an apple? <laughs> you little runt, he shouted. You little runt, he shouted. Do you... Do you dare ask uh, that I carry you across the... Then the anger left his face. And his eyes twinkle once more. But why, why should I not climb up my on my back? I will carry you separately across the river. The friar bent down, then something straightened up again. I think you will get your weapon wet, young master. Let me tuck your sword under my arm to keep it dry. No, good father, I wouldn't have you to carry any more. the Robin. <sighs> Don't you think that the good thing Crossover would ha have carried it for you? Now give your weapon to me. Robin unbuckled his sword and climbed up to, on the friar's back. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see what happens next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.